Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take two routers and set up a very simple BGP peering arrangement between them. So since everything is going to be in the same autonomous system, BGP Autonomous System 1, we're going to be setting up what's called an IBGP or Internal BGP Peering. It's going to be pretty simple, we're going to peer with the fast Ethernet interfaces between R1 and R2. The link in between both routers is 101012x x being the number of the router, so router 1 is going to be one, router 2 is going to be two. So there's a couple things to remember before you actually begin peering with BGP. First one is, should be pretty obvious, you should be able to ping between the two routers. So, or actually more specifically, you should be able to ping between the interfaces. So here the two routers are directly connected, they're in the same subnet, that should not be a problem. Now in BGP it's kind of weird, uh, what you can do is you can actually peer between non-adjacent neighbors. So if you had a third router in between here, you could actually peer between R1 and R2. You could peer between the ends without actually having BGP in the middle. And that's going to assume that you have uh, some type of internal routing protocol running like RIP, OSPF, or EIGRP and we're going to do that type of configuration in future videos. Also, BGP uses TCP port 179, so we're assuming that you do not have port 179 blocked with any type of access list or, or anything else. And we're going to have a video later of what's going to happen if you try to peer with another router and you are blocking port 179, so we'll, we'll see how that works out. But in this particular video, it's going to be very simple. We've got both routers already up and running, and I've got IP addresses already set up. I'm going to go to router 1, enable conf t, router bgp1, 1 being the autonomous system number. I'm going to move my terminal window over here. Okay, and then it's going to be neighbor, then the IP address of the other side. Remember, we are peering with the fast Ethernet interface of the other side. And let's hit question mark to see what we can get. And we definitely have a lot of stuff. But very simply, all we need is remote AS1. Okay. That's all we need on router 1. I'm going to exit out of there. I'm going to go to router 2. going to do enable conf t router bgp1 neighbor 10 10 12 1 and the same thing remote as1 exit out of there going to wait for our adjacency to come up and thing to remember about bgp bgp is very slow it's the slowest routing protocol out there it's very manual it's very specific so you have to be very careful when you're doing your BGP stuff. If you're just starting out with your CCNA and CCNP, and let's say you've just started out at a big uh, company like a hosting provider, be very careful with BGP. You have capability to really mess up things and affect the whole internet if you're not careful. Okay, our neighbor has come up, our adjacency has come up. Let's see how we can verify that. We could do a show IP BGP. Let's do a question mark behind that got a lot of stuff. Usually though you want to do show IP BGP summary. It's going to show you your neighbor. It's going to show you a couple other things. Prefixes learn and receive. No prefixes because we're not actually advertising anything. Let's scroll up. Uh, we could do show IP BGP neighbors. This will tell you some more stuff about your neighbor. And let's hit the up arrow, show IP BGP neighbors, and you could specify the neighbor to show up if you wanted to. But let's see what else we could do. Paths, peer group, you'll be using all of these later if you plan on going into CCNP and CCIE stuff. You could also do show IP route and put a BGP at the end of that. Here you're not going to actually show anything because we actually haven't entered anything into BGP just yet. All right, let's go back to router 1. Router 1 should have similar information. We could do show IP BGP summary and show IP BGP neighbor. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video of 
internal IBGP peering between fast Ethernet interfaces, directly connected interfaces. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is router BGP and then your autonomous system number and then a neighbor statement followed by a remote AS. And in this case, we did remote AS1 on both routers. All right. Thank you for watching.